so you probably have to click a button I guess all right so let's start with warm-up waist elbow hope everyone had a wonderful day today it was nice sunny good temperature at least in our area alternate up and down we will try to cover all the joints body parts muscles now circle the palms into one direction and reverse the direction okay now swing the folded arms inhale upward exhale down deep inhale deep exhale Connect fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. Ajay Karan Arjun Eva says, screen Madhya Khai says, hope Karan Arjun will stay. Welcome, Rasik Bhai. Okay, sideways. Video ban chat like cover not this walk, how I bet has you come here to par. Now hold all the fingers together over the shoulders and circle the folded elbows around, biggest circle possible. Inhale upward, exhale downward. And reverse the direction. And relax. Next, we'll inhale, raise both hands up. Exhale, twist the upper body onto the one side. Look back, align chin with the shoulder. Keep pushing the knee forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, going to the second side. Try to keep the trunk vertical, back straight. Inhale, come back. One more time, both the sides. Try to feel the stretches around the waist muscles and at the lower back. Come back and complete onto the second side. Feel the full twist. Inhale, come back. Now look straight at the level of the eyes. These are keeping shoulder blades, trunk completely still. Just head and neck, as we ex deep inhale, as we exhale, turn the head towards the right side, align chin with the right shoulder, try to look at the farthest point on the back, for the five count, inhale, come back, exhale onto the second side, feel the stretches at the neck muscles, neck joint, inhale, come back to center, we will do one more time, Try to stay in pose at least for five counts, then come back and complete onto the second side. Come back, inhale, turn the head upward, look up into the ceiling, exhale, chin at the chest, look down, continuously holding. The rest of the body part, other than the head and neck, inhale, come back up again, up, exhale, head down, then we will turn the head towards the right in circular fashion as we inhale, going upward, from the up, exhale towards left, bringing head down, one more circle, try to make the biggest circle possible, gentle, steady move, With the full consciousness, then reverse direction, two times, two circles. Inhale on left, exhale on right. And second circle. Okay. 
and next we'll sit in L shape, all fours, Gandasan, with help of both the palms, keep the back straight, you can tilt slightly forward as we pull the toes inward, keeping the knees straight, legs grounded, now squeeze and release all the toes few times. As we inhale, push the toes forward, exhale, pull them back, inhale forward, exhale back, few times, both feet together. Try to keep the knees straight, legs grounded. Now alternate, one pull, one push. And holding heels together, toes together, circle the toes around the heels. Try to make the biggest circle possible and reverse the direction. Relax both the legs, separate feet about a couple of feet apart. Relax the upper body with the help of the palms, roll the toes in and out. Keeping the knees straight, legs grounded, so we can feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. And stop. Now bring it together. Hold at the right knee. Rest the right foot onto the left thigh. Interlock the right toes with left fingers. Keep on pushing the right knee down to the floor. Left leg remains straight. Left toes pointed out. Try to keep the back straight. Now bring the knee to the chin, just with the palm to do that. Inhale, push it down to the floor, hold there for two, three seconds. Exhale, bring it to the chin. Couple more times on the same side. you're done then straighten and relax the right leg hold at the left knee we'll do the same thing on the left side make sure we keep the right leg straight right toes pointed toes front creating the spring action increasing the blood circulations into the hip joint making it more flexible now bring the knee to the chin inhale Push it down to the floor for two, three seconds. Exhale, bring it to the chin. Couple more times. And relax both the legs. Then fold at both the knees. Continuing, activating more, more to the working more onto the hip joints. Interlock the fingers, place them over the toes. Thumbs will go under the big toes. Bring both the knees all the way up and all the way down at the maximum that we can bring up and down. And after that, we will just speed up. Our goal is to reach the knees to the floor. Try to keep the back straight, hold the toes tightly, we can keep our elbows straight. You can raise the knees even a little bit up higher to create the momentum so that way knees will go even further down. Okay, now stop clapping and roll the body side by side can bring knees all the way down to the floor as we keep pushing our body closer to the heels. So heels close to the perineum. We will do Bhaddasan or Bhadrasan. Grab the toes tightly. Keep pushing knees down to the floor. Hold the back straight. Close the eyes. Keep awareness at the hip joints, the pelvis region. Deep inhale. 
and hold the breath in lower abdomen and observe the extra stretches because of we are holding the breath into lower abdomen. Five, six, seven. Exhale fully. Deeply inhale again and hold the breath again for seven counts. During that time, try to keep pushing the knees down to the floor and holding the back straight. Five, six, seven. Let's do two more rounds. Do with breath coordination with full awareness at pelvis region, hip joints. Do with your own pace. Once you're done, then we will roll the body side by side. We keep pushing the body away from the heels. Make a space about one foot between heels and perineum. Grab the toes tightly. Next, we'll do Baddha Konasan. Keep the head, neck, trunk aligned. Deep inhale. And we exhale. Pull the upper body down. Push the trunk and head forehead onto the toes we can pull the upper body further forward and down inhale come back up we will do second time try to pull the upper body away from the hips deep inhale as we exhale try to bend from the lower back use the folded elbow to push the lower legs backward to bend the upper body further forward and down there is a chance that we should be able to bring our chin onto the toes or even beyond the toes. We can inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the head and trunk further down. We can try to stay a few more seconds. Inhale, come back up. And sit into cross leg posture and sit into Sukhasan or Siddhasan or if you're able to sit into Padmasan half or full that would be great there are so many benefits of sitting in Padmasan bring both hands on a side we will do Parvatasan try to keep the back straight with full awareness as we inhale bring both hands together in front of the chest join them into pram at anahata chakra exhale inhale again raise both hands up rest them on the top of the head at sahasrara chakra exhale inhale third time Extend both the hands all the way up over the head, vertically up, not sideways, front or back. Try to keep the elbow straight, palms aligned. The head should be straight. We can inhale, exhale in pause, but whenever we start lowering our hands, do one long, big exhalation while we bring hands on top of the head and the chest and all the way down let's do one more time close the eyes do with full awareness with breath coordination with your own pace If we have practiced enough to hold the breath 
in or hold the breath out then even if you want to do longer exhalation we should be able to control our breath very easily like we can release the breath little by little and we can extend the duration the way we want okay next we'll bring both hands in dhyan mudra first fingertip thumb tip together we will do bastrika pranayam deep inhale deep exhale relax shoulders keep the back straight the chin parallel to the floor closed eyes keep 100% awareness on breathing only first couple of breath keep the awareness on the breathing related movements and make sure that whenever we breathing in our stomach will pop out shoulder will rise little bit there is some movement at the chest as we breathe out stomach will go inward shoulders will go down some movement at the chest and after that just keep 100% awareness at the nostril like inner wall of the nostrils will be feeling some kind of sensations each time we breathing in will give us a little bit cold sensation each time we breathe out it will be a little bit warm air it will give some kind of warm sensation but in order to sense that we need to have full awareness every fraction of second 100% we should keep full awareness inside the nostrils slowly steadily deeply inhale and deeply exhale open the eyes and breathe in and out normal next we'll do kapalbhati pranayam Just bring both the hands into vayu mudra roll first fingertip into root of thumb and rest both the hands onto the thighs or knees sit straight deeply inhale fill up the lungs fully then we will exhale in multiple exhalations forcefully exhale 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 till end then one long exhalation, deep inhalation, and an exhale, 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 exhale till end, and keep on going. Each exhalation stroke will be forceful, and frequency we can keep as per our comfort level. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
When you breathe out fully, then you can breathe in and out normal and bring the body into Sambhavi Mudra. For that, just open up the palms towards ceiling, tilt the head slightly upward, close the eyes, keep awareness in between the eyebrows at Agnya Chakra. Let the vibrations come down, let energy absorb into the body. That's just for the 10 seconds and it is already over slowly come back and we'll do next variation of Vastrika Pranaya make a loose fist <coughs> at the shoulders folded elbow at the ribs deep inhale and exhale normal one time then forceful vigorous inhale up exhale down inhale front exhale back inhale sideways exhale back each time try to straighten the elbows Elbows and palms will be at the shoulder level. Forceful inhale, forceful exhale. If you have a heart problem, blood pressure issue, you can do it slowly. normal body into Sambhavi Mudra for 10 seconds. And come back. And let's do some stretches. Separate the feet, knees straight, legs fully grounded, let go of the corner Inhale, look up, raise both hands up. We can lean slightly backward to accommodate more air in breathing. As we fully exhale, bend forward and down, try to bend from the lower back, grab the feet, right to right, left to left. Push head and trunk together down. Inhale, come back up. Look up one more time. Fully exhale down. We can stay longer in pause. Inhale, exhale normal. Each exhalation we can keep on pushing the head and trunk further down and down. Inhale, come back up. Now turn the shoulder bend perpendicular to the right leg, exhale, bend down, grab the right foot equally with both the hands and bring the forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back up, towards left, fully exhale, bend down. Grab left foot equally with both the hands, forehead onto the left knee. Inhale, come back up. Now hold at the left knee, bring the left heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the right leg. And next we will do Janu Sirsasana towards the right. Both hands up, look up, deep inhale. 
Hip exhale. Grab the right foot equally with both the hands. Try to push the upper body further forward and down. We can push the toes out, the right, right foot out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, two, one. We have come back up and we will switch to the second side. Janu Sirsasan towards left. Shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg. Inhale, both hands up, look up. Fully exhale, bend down. Grab the left foot equally with both the hands. Pull, push the foot outward. And let the upper body also push out and down. Each exhalation, keep on pushing the head and trunk further down. Then nine eight two one inhale come back up and next bring both feet in up front next we'll do paschimottanasan both feet align Inhale, raise both hands up, look up. You can lean slightly backward. Fully exhale, bend forward and down. Try to apply the Udhyan Band. That means tuck the stomach inward. Grab the feet and try to push the head and trunk down as low as possible. As long as we can hold the breath out. back up. We will do one more time. Paschimottanasan. Fully exhale, bend down, tuck the stomach in. As long as we can hold the breath out, we're going to keep on pushing our forehead to the closer to the knee. up so if some people have issue on reaching to the feet they may get up to that far right or some people get up to that far then try to fold both the knees slightly and grab the feet on a side way then we can straighten that will grab the hands together then we can fully exhale and we can push our head and tongue as low as possible. So you can do that way. And we will do complementary pose. Bring both palms at the back. Next inhalation, raise the lower back all the way up. Drop the head and back of the body. Try to look into the back wall. Push the toes down to the floor. So heels, toes on the floor. The lower back as high as possible body will be in a straight line from back of the head to the heels. Purva Uttanasan. In, in English, it's called a reverse plank. So if you try to Google any of these poses, that's why I'm saying Sanskrit or, or in the English name, as much as possible, very slowly bring the body down, back onto the floor, to L shape, and we will hold at the knees, and we will try to get into Om Khasan pose. So knees should be on top of each other and as close as possible. If somehow, if you are unable to bring both knees together, you can lift the upper body up and you can adjust the heels and body and then you can rest it. So whichever side knee is up, that side hand will go up and down. Other hand, you can just push it down 
So there is a greater chance that we can connect them together. So other hand will go directly at the back and connect both hands together. Once we make a good connection, then correct the pose. Trunk will be vertical. Look straight at the level of the eyes. So head, neck, trunk, knees, they're all in vert one vertical line. At this point, you can close the eyes. You can scan the body quickly. And you can feel all the connections. We are seeing all the mats and between in between the body parts. Or you can also do deep inhale, deep exhale, bend down. You can try to bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back up. Once we stayed long enough in a pause, you can release both the hands. Try to keep the leg position same. We are transitioning into Ardha Machyandrasana. So whichever knee is up, just bring it even up further and that side foot will go out aligned with the other knee. And on that same side, that hand will go at the back align the palm with the spine on the floor inhale raise other hand up exhale bring it around to the knee which is up and twist the upper body towards that side and look back you can feel the full twist or the machandrasana while you are in pose you can always inhale exhale but coordinate with breath, so as soon as we are coming back from the pose, we will inhale, come back, very slowly, gently, we will transition to the second side. First, we will align the knees, both the heels should be touching the hips, we are not sitting on the heels. And bring the one hand up and down. And then bring the second hand directly at the back. Make a good connection. If you have difficulty connecting both the hands together, you can use the cloth napkin, strap, yoga belt, anything. Correct the pose. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And if you are able to do this, then bend down and tuck the stomach in. So any of these poses at first, it will be difficult. But if we attempt, we might go up to this point. Then in a few days, we can just advance a little bit and then go further down and down. Okay, and next we'll transition into Ardha Machyandrasan. So bring the foot all the way up, up to the knee. So one hand go at the back. Inhale, raise the other hand up. Exhale, bring it around the knee which is up. Push it down on the side so we can grab the ankle. And twist onto the one side, look back. Feel the full twist at the lower back and lower abdomen. So Ardha Machyandrasana is combination of Vakrasana and Gomukhasana. Inhale and we come back. And very slowly, gently, we will sit into Vadrasana. So, um, this Sunday, coming Sunday, oh, uh, Sunday, uh, I have to look up the schedule. We are planning to do chakra meditation. So that would be about 45 minutes or so during our yoga session. So our yoga session will have a longer, uh, a total two hours. We are not going to extend our time, but we will do less the yoga poses, but we will do Chakra meditation. That's uh, um, based on Deepak Chopra's um, the guided video. We will use, of course, we will use video. We cannot afford to bring him live. I hope one day we will. 
but uh, we have a video <laughs> and uh, we will follow it so about so we will play some introduction video first like how to do what to do and like that kind of sort of things and then i think it's part of two other videos that we will do and about 45 minutes or so and then like our and 15 minutes for our yoga poses and yoga nidra and all included so i will look it up again and send you message whether it's a saturday or sunday but try to attend as many as possible and again i'm going to put in a group as well in our group chat thank god we have our group back our whatsapp group so better than announcements so let's sit into virasan for few seconds if you're able to so slide the hills outward so make some space so we can sit directly onto the floor if you never sit in virasan before then try not to stay for too long so many people probably be able to sit now 20 seconds 30 seconds even longer because we have been practicing since over a year now it gives a lot of extensions pressures into the knees um, hamstring calf muscle thigh muscles come back sit into vadrasan and next we'll do mandukasan separate the knees just like two three inches not too far away extend both hands forward make a tight fist keeping the thumbs inside deep inhale hold the breath in lower abdomen place the top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel now forcefully exhale as we bend down without leaving the heels push the trunk and head all the way down when we can no longer push the trunk down hold it there and tilt the head slightly up Inhale, come back up. We will do one more time. Same sequence. Mandukasan, frog pose. Tight fist, thumbs in, inside. Deep inhale, hold the breath. Place fist in a proper place. Fully exhale. As we bend down fully. And tilt the head upward. So that way, we can have maximum pressure at the Nabi Chakra. Or it has multiple names. Not so called Manipura Chakra, Devil Chakra, and it also activates or massages the pancreas. That's a very good for diabetic people to have this pose. Next, we'll do complementary pose, backward bending. So you can sit into Vadrasan or you can sit in Virasan. So if you are in Virasan, our lower back is close to the floor and very easily you will be able to lay down on a back on a floor so you can do either way you can do from virasan or you can do from vajrasan but in both the cases with help of the palms let lay down bring the back and back of the head onto the floor but try to keep the knees closer to each other and onto the floor now separate the shoulder blades apart raise both hands up and rest the palms onto the thighs relax lower back relax hip joints thigh muscles knee joints calf muscles with closed eyes try to keep awareness in those body parts those we just relaxed and see what kind of sensations coming out it may be compression extension with the bow, kitao, some body parts may be screaming, urging to come out of the pose, some body parts may be feeling much more better and wanting to stay a little longer in pose. But once we stayed enough, long enough in a pose, whenever we need to come out of the pose, grab the ankles, push the elbows onto the floor and bring the body up back into the initial pose that could be Vadrasan or Virasan, whatever you started with and separate the knees far apart bring both hands 
besides the pit, the palms facing ceiling, head, neck, trunk in vertical line and in a line. Deep inhale. Can we exhale? Start lowering the trunk head down, bringing it all the way onto the floor and full relax. Let the shoulders, hip joints, lower back. Completely loose, completely relax. Deep inhale and deep exhale. This is variation of Shashankasana, child pose. With next inhalation, slowly lift the head up and bring the upper body back into vertical position and get onto the knees. We will do simple gate pose today. Parikasan. So extend the right leg out. So right hand will be onto the right leg. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, arch or bend towards the right side. Keep on sliding the right hand all the way onto the right leg, reach out to the right ankle and we keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come out of the pose. On the same side, we will do one more time. Keep inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, arch onto the one side, keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come back up, switch to the second side. So we will do two times onto the left side. Parikasan, gate pose. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, arch sideways, keep looking up into the ceiling. So our body will stay in same plane. Inhale, come back up. And we'll do second time. Do with breath coordination. Come back up. And we will stand up. Relax. The leg, feet, thighs, hands. Okay. Let's do Tadasan. Interlock the fingers, raise both hands up. As we inhale, go on the toes, stretch the palms all the way up, upside down. Exhale, down, inhale one more time, exhale down and we will walk around the mats, walk on the hills, make a two circles, try to do smaller steps so we don't need to bend at the knee. After that we will do two circles on the toes. This will activate the lymphatic system throughout the body.
separate the feet about three to four feet apart. Extend both hands on the side. Deep inhale. As we exhale, arch or the bend onto the one side. So one palm goes down closer to the floor, other one goes closer to the ceiling. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Both arms will be one vertical line. Inhale, back, exhale onto the second side. Try to look straight up over the head, vertically up into the ceiling. Throw our own palm, which is up. Inhale, come back. We will do one more time. Exhale. Come back and complete second time on second side. Come back and separate our feet even further apart. Extend both hands on us in the front, both arms parallel to each other, parallel to the floor, deep inhale. We are doing Katichakrasan, waist rotation. As we exhale, turn the upper body towards one side. We can fold one elbow so the hand will go to the other shoulder. Keep on following the other palm, going all the way down, all the way at the back. Inhale, come back to center, exhale to the second side. Every time try to keep the elbows and palms at the shoulder level. We are turning only the waist and above. So our legs will stay in same position. One more time, both the sides. In pose, try to stay at least about seven counts. Five, six, seven. Come back. Exhale. Second time, second side. Three four five six seven come back now next we will turn the right toes sideways hold at the right knee extend both hands on the side inhale raise the right hand up exhale bring it down beside the right foot try to push the waist the pelvis region down as low as possible so the left leg trunk and left arm will be in one line keep looking up toward corner of the ceiling at least inhale come back so we were there almost 15 seconds so we will do the same on the second side do with breath coordination I think um, so many people are able to do this pose very well. Parsha Konasan. Inhale, come back. Okay, next we will do Virpadrasan 1 and 2. So try to keep the feet as far as possible. Now again, go on to the right side, hold at the right knee, turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the folded leg, bring both hands down with the deep inhale, raise both hands up and arch backward. Try to lower the waist area. Inhale back up and we'll do Virbhadrasan 1 onto the second side. Look up, both hands up, arch backward, try to push the pelvis area down as low as possible and come back. Next we'll do Virbhadrasan 2 Again, towards the right side. Extend both hands sideways. And we are keep looking back of the right palm onto the side way. 
our trunk tend to go go towards right so we need to pull it back so trunk will stay vertical om bhur bhuvah swaha tat savitur varenyam vargo devasya dhimahi dhyo yo nah prachodayat om bhur bhuvah swaha tat savitur varenyam vargo devasya dhimahi dhyo yo nah prachodayat slowly come back and we will do on the second side both hands on the side make sure our trunk stays vertical om bhur bhuvah swah tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhyo yo nah prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvah Swah Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonah Prachodayat Come back And next we will do Little bit Relaxing pause Not a big work on the legs, but let's do Pastiv Namaskar. So while our legs will take break, bring both palms at the back, they are aligned, fingertips pointing down. Then we can turn them up and push them up as high as possible and push both the elbows backward. So the palms will be aligned properly and stay in pause for few seconds and let the legs relax a little bit you can walk around you can step forward and backward all right relax next we will do balance poses and those virbhadrasan 3 and virbhadrasan 4 so that way we will have all the virbhadrasan series and plus balance pose done so virbhadrasan 3 will be the next the final pose would be this slowly get into the pose as soon as we start talking or start thinking our balance will be gone So if you have too difficulty getting into the pose, maybe you should consider or uh, doing some alternate ways on to get into the pose. You can grab your leg, and rest of the body part will be already get into the pose. At the end, you can just extend both hands forward. Once you tried on both the sides, we can do the Virbhadrasan four. Grab the ankle with the same side hand. Slowly lower the trunk. Let's raise the hand up and pull the folded leg up and bring it away from the body. Okay, sometimes maybe one side might not be a good luck one day or other. Try on the second side.
Okay, so most people done with Virbhadrasan 3 and 4 both. So next we'll lay down on a stomach. Rest into crocodile pose, Makarasan. So the side of the head will be rested onto the folded arms, separate the legs, toes pointed out, full relax. Makarasan, crocodile pose. Next, we will just do just like kids watching TV, bring legs together, hold at the elbows, and bring the chin in the palms. And look straight at the level of the eyes, relax the lower back, and we will just try to kick ourselves one leg at a time. See if you're able to bring heel all the way at the hip. Very good activity if you have a back pain. If you're able to do this, try with both feet together. A few times. Okay, now keep the knee folded both. So heels closer to the hips and bring both palms onto the floor. Deep inhale, cross both the legs at the back. As we exhale, look the feet from the side way, but try to bring the heels closer to the hips. Inhale, the head to the center, turn the feet other way, exhale, and look the feet on from the second side, Inhale back, just do one more time, change the legs. And complete onto the second side. And lay down into Makarasan, crocodile pose, full relax. We'll do Dhanurasan, bow pose, chest, chin, shoulder blade on a floor, both legs together, fold at both the knees, grab the ankles, right to right, left to left. Next inhalation, lift, pull both legs up, the upper body will automatically get lifted up with some breathe in and out, there will be some rocking movements between massage the internal organs under the lower abdomen area. Thus the pelvis and stomach area stays on the floor. Try to lift or the pull the leg as high as possible while we're looking up into the front wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Very slowly bring the body down and lay down into Makarasan crocodile pose. Full relax for 10 seconds. Next we will do Dhanurasan again with the variation. Bring both legs together, hold at knees and cross the legs. Now grab the ankles, right to left, left to right. Same way, next inhalation. Pull both legs up. It will bring the upper body up. It's exact same way, but try to look into the, as high as possible into the front wall while we keep pulling the legs up. Five, four, three, two, one and very slowly lay down into makarasan crocodile pose
and we will turn around lay down on the back raise both legs up and trunk up 60 degree with the floor knees straight elbows straight both hands up such a way that we can see the toenails through the fingernails and toes as close as fingertips so many people use a belt or or any rope or anything going over the feet and holding them together and try to stay in pose for 5 minutes 10 minutes they can do that too very slowly bring the body down and lay down in shavasan full relax separate the feet at least couple of feet apart toes pointed out palms facing ceiling fingers semi closed head neck trunk in one line for the best energy flow full relax next we will do pavan muktasan leg rotation combo bring feet together fold at the right knee grab the right lower leg with both the hands and pull the folded right leg to the chest deep inhale as we exhale raise the head up and try to bring the head the face and the folded right knee together or you can even cross them if you have extra flexibility hold them in pose as long as we can hold the breath out inhale bring the head back continue holding or the pressing the right knee at the chest keeping the left knee straight left toes pointed out as we inhale raise the left leg up vertical toes pointing towards ceiling the left leg perpendicular to the floor exhale slowly lower it should not be touching the floor few inches over the floor inhale raise it up again vertical exhale bring it down third time inhale up keeping the knee straight toes pointed out exhale lower it then we will do circle try to make the biggest circle possible one keeping the knee straight toes pointed out two and three and then reverse the direction 3 2 and 1 relax rest the left leg straighten and relax and rest the right leg and fold at the left knee same thing on to the left side bring the left knee at the chest hold it down right leg will remain straight right toes pointed out deep inhale as we exhale raise the head up try to bring the face and left knee together or you can even cross them if you have extra flexibility hold in pose as long as you can hold the breath we cannot no longer hold the breath out then we can just breathe in and bring the head back holding the left folded knee at the chest as we inhale raise the right leg up keeping the right toes pointed out right knee straight exhale lower the leg inhale up each time make sure it is vertically up perpendicular to the floor exhale down and third time inhale all the way up exhale all the way down and then we will do rotation one the biggest circle possible keeping the knee straight toes pointed out two and three and then reverse the direction Three, 
straight on the left leg lay down into shavasan for 10 seconds at least full relax we can breathe in and out normal natural with closed eyes we can acknowledge recognize the relaxation sensations coming out from the legs right come back next we'll do Ardha halasan or full halasan. Full halasan is inwardan. So you can do sarvangasan, shoulder stand, and from there you can transition into halasan. The others unable to do inwardan, they can do uttan padasan. So bring both palms beside the hips, palms facing down. Next inhalation, raise both legs up, keeping the knees straight, toes pointed out. So this is Ardha Halasan or Uttan Padasan. So this is not an inversion, so everybody can do this. And hold this pose for at least 20 seconds. Then we will start lowering the legs. So other people are already doing Sarvangasan and Halasan. That's the advanced pose and they already knew how to do that. So in about two seconds, we will start lowering the legs, just inch by inch. Keeping the knees straight, toes pointed out. Start lowering both the legs together, just inch by inch. Just engage the core muscles. So we will have the full control on the lowering legs. So no crash landing, smoothly let them bring and rest onto the floor and relax lay down into shavasan the other people will complete their poses and also come back into shavasan full rest okay now bring both the legs together Keeping the left leg straight, just fold at the right knee and right foot will be beside the left knee. So now bring the left hand outward of the right knee. We are doing the Udra Karshan type pose like a, a spine twist. Deep inhale as we exhale, push the right knee down onto the floor towards left. Extend the right hand perpendicular to the body onto the right side and turn the head towards the right and look into the right palm. So knee onto the left, head onto the right. Feel the full twist at the spine. Inhale, back up. Both legs straight. Now do the same thing onto the second side. With the right hand, we are pressing the left knee down onto the floor towards the right side as we fully exhale, extending the left hand onto the left side perpendicular to the body and turning the head towards left, looking through the left palm. Feel the full twist. Inhale, come back and lay down in Shavasan for 10 seconds and see what kind of sensations coming out from the trunk or the spine. Okay, next we will do breathe pose and if you want to do Chakrasan, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can do breathe pose. If you are unable to do any of these pose because those both are inversion, then you can get directly into Matsyasan, the fish pose. And others, they will either get breathe pose or Chakrasan. In Chakrasan, you bring both the palms 
onto the floor beside the face, the fingertip pointing towards the back wall. Next inhalation, lift the body up. So the feet on the floor, palms on the floor. In brief pose, you can just bring both the hands at the lower back and try to lift the lower back as high as possible. If you are unable to any of this and stay in Matsyasan, we all will be joining everyone into Matsyasan. Come back, lay down into Shavasan for 10 seconds. And then transition into Matsyasan. Stay in Matsyasan for about 20 seconds while I put the Yoga Nidra audio. So meantime, if you want to prepare yourself for the Yoga Nidra by covering yourself up or if you want to turn the lights down, dim them, Go ahead and do that. In about 5 to 10 seconds, we will start the Yoga Nidra audio. Mm -hmm. Then should make any final movements, final adjustments. Those 8 to 10 minutes, you will be completely still. No movements at all. Zero movements besides the breathing related normal natural movements will be there, but no any other voluntary movements and continuously focusing word by word. Breathe in and out normal, lay down into Shavasan, close the eyes and let's follow the instructions. Sharir ko puri tarah se floor pa surrender kar diya hai. शरीर का पूरा वजन फ्लोर पर ट्रांसफर हो रहा है और अभी मैं जो जो बॉडी पार्ट्स का नाम बोलूं वहां अपनी अवेयरनेस लाना है और वो बॉडी पार्ट को रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे Relax all your toes one by one. Relax both your feet, sole, heels. Relax your calf muscles, your lower legs. knee joint now bring your awareness on your thighs relax your thighs so now both your legs are completely relaxed Now bring your awareness on your lower abdomen. Nabi se niche ke sabhi muscles relax kar denge. Aur dhyan laayenge nabi ke upar. Apne belly button par dhyan laayenge. Abhi awareness laayenge pet par. पेट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे पेट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स पर रिलैक्स कर देंगे अवेयरनेस थोड़ी ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करेंगे और चेस्ट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे चेस्ट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स भी रिलैक्स कर देंगे 
lungs, heart. दोनों हाथ रिलैक्स कर देंगे दोनों हाथ की सभी फिंगर्स दोनों पाम्स हथेली दोनों रिस्ट दोनों लोअर आर्म्स एल्बोस अपर आर्म्स दोनों शोल्डर्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे और अभी चेस के सेंटर में ध्यान लाएंगे फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी और अभी ध्यान लाएंगे गले के ऊपर और गले के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे फिर फेस पर ध्यान लाएंगे और फेस के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे चीन रिलैक्स करेंगे लिप्स दोनों चीक्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे नोज दोनों ईयर्स दोनों आईज आईब्रोज फोरहेड एंड टॉप ऑफ द हेड फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी Your whole body is relaxed now. Now we will chant three Om or Om ke vibrations puri sharir mein mehsoos karenge. Nabhi se start karte hue Om bolenge. और वाइब्रेशंस पूरे शरीर में फील करेंगे स्टार्ट ब्रेथ इन Presence in your body. Om के vibrations शरीर के अंदर भी है और शरीर के बाहर भी है Movement करके ये vibration को disturb नहीं करेंगे खाली 
आनंद की अनुभूति करेंगे परम शांति का अनुभव करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हैप्पी हैप्पी महसूस करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हेल्दी महसूस करेंगे ग्रेटिट्यूड की फीलिंग कि भगवान ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है अभी जो फीलिंग्स है उसे बनाए रखेंगे धीरे से पौड़ी के प्रति सजग हो जाएंगे हेड को साइड टू साइड मूव करेंगे शरीर को एक स्ट्रेच दे देंगे दोनों हाथ ऊपर की तरफ खींच लेंगे Open and close eyes few times in the earth under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down, gently open the eyes, and fold at both the knees. Roll the body onto the right side. Stay on right for about two breaths in and out. And very slowly, with help of elbows, palms, bring the body up, back into any comfortable sitting posture. Could be cross leg or virasan, vajrasan, anything. And we have about four minutes. So let's do one minute of uh, anulom vilom pranayam. Make a Vishnu mudra on right hand. Roll first two fingertip into root of thumb. We will inhale on left, exhale on right, then inhale on right, and exhale on left. So making round trip, try to do dip, inhale, exhale, left to right, right to left. Complete the cycle, complete the round when you breathe out on left. Then we will do three Brahmari Pranayam followed by 10 seconds of Sambhavya Mudra.
And let's conclude the session. Bring both palms on top of each other into the lap, relax shoulders. Close the eyes, keep them closed till end. Back straight. We will chant Mahamrutyanja Mantra, everybody together three times, followed by short meditation. During meditation, try to keep the awareness at the Sahasrara Chakra, at the crown of the head. That we will end by one Omkar chant, and we will do closing prayers. So everybody together, Mahamrutyanja Mantra three times. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukumeva Bandhanan Mrutyur Mukshiyamam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukumeva Bandhanan Mrutyur Mukshiyamam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukumeva Bandhanan Mrutyur Mukshiyamam Rutat Oh, um, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pasyantu, Ma Kastit Dukha Bhag Bhavet, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Rub the palms against each other, Dr. Purja, make them warm. Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Gently massage the eyelids. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. Open the eyes. Rub the palms one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head, neck. Shoulders, arms, trunk, legs, and throughout the body to spread the energy within. Ariyom Tatsat Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Jai Sri Krishna, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. And I'm going to let you guys unmute. You all can unmute. Now. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.